Okay, um, here we'll be looking at the last part of this river uh, lesson or river process will be river opportunities and flooding. So what are the advantages of having a river and um, flooding aspect of a river? So that's it. So quickly, opportunity of living close to a river. So um, one is when you have fertile land, so rivers create fertile land, um, so farmers can have high yield of crops. Um, land is flat, so it's easy for building. Uh, it helps in water supply from rivers. So food supply, such as fish, also from rivers. Um, the beauty gives a good view of an area. You can use river to generate electricity, hydroelectricity power generation. Rivers can also be used for washing of clothes and also bathing. Uh, irrigation of crops, um, gold panning and swimming. So these are functions of rivers. You can actually just read through it. It's just importance of rivers are the opportunities. Then river flooding, which is next, it has to do. So flooding occur when the capacity of the river channel is exceeded. So the water can no longer flow, flow within its channel. So the water flows over the bank and onto the surrounding areas. That is what causes flooding, that's river flooding. So now, what are the causes of flooding? One is heavy rainstorm or rainfall. Now, rain fall over a long period of time, not just heavy, but over a long period of time. Melting of snow and glaciers, impermeable rocks. So water cannot penetrate, water cannot percolate and infiltrate. Now, rivers have many tributaries. So if there are a lot of tributaries joining the main course, you expect that uh, they can easily be flooding within the lower part of a river. Now, when you have urban growth, urban growth will lead to um, things like um, building of roads. It will lead to things like having concrete surfaces. Now, when you have concrete surfaces, building of roads, um, and all this, to do that, you also carry out the process of deforestation. Deforestation. So all this will now expose the land and also reduce. So this and this, these roads and concrete will reduce infiltration. It will reduce infiltration. So all of them can now lead to flooding. Then you have things like dam breakage deforestation so lack of trees to reduce it uh, uh, to help with interception so if there is lack of trees then it will reduce interception and water we have direct contact with the soil so climate change increasing global temperature increases the rate of glacier melting that can also cause flooding then building on floodplains so when you construct buildings on floodplains it's a major impact or cause of flooding so now what is what are the impact of flooding flooding is a natural disaster so um, most of the impact of volcanic eruption earthquake flooding they are all similar just no five out of it which will come out in the exam then obviously all of them can lead to loss of lives so there's loss of life flooding of road or damage of road can disrupt transport and communication flooding of farmland will eventually lead to damage of crop uh, eventual starvation so it will lead to death of animals and livestock uh, destruction of uh, floodplains damage to houses and businesses damage to trees vegetation leading to loss of habitat and loss of habitat can lead to extinction or migration of animals contamination of land and water leading to pollution damage of boats and people cannot go to school neither can they go to work um, when there is flooding so these are impact then how do you manage flooding management of flooding you have to do it building high banks or artificial levees so it can hold more water afforestation so you plant more trees to help uh, with the process of interception build dams so dams uh, can help and reservoir which will help to regulate the flow of water and store excess water now you straighten the river channel so if the river is a meander so you can actually help to strengthen it through um, hard engineering you, so that will help the water to move in a single channel and therefore it can also reduce flooding now restrict building on the floodplain so there should be no building zones close to a river 
so close to a floodplain no building should be allowed that will help to um with the process of interception also then widen and deepen the river channel so the river channel you can widen the river channel and dip it make it deepen more so it will hold more water then you should create artificial drainage channel this will help during period of excess flow so this is it on causes impact and management of flood and also the importance uh, of river so thank you we've come come to a conclusion on this aspect of river processes <laughs>